My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training. In March of 2017, I'll be going to Tucson, Arizona for the IAAP Tech 17 uh, conference. And one of those sessions is going to be about managing Microsoft SharePoint sites. And so today's video in Everyday Office is how to create custom columns in SharePoint. So let's take a look at a SharePoint site. As you can see, this is uh, SharePoint 2016. I'm going to go over here to, let's say, the customers list. So I have a list of customers already, and you can see here that I have their last name and their first name and what company they work for and their phone number and their email address. And this, of course, all sort of dovetails with what Outlook already does for us. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, what if in addition to the normal fields that a customer list might have, I also want to include their social media accounts. I want to include their Twitter account. I want to include their business Facebook account if they have one, etc. Well, it's in those situations when you need to take the existing list and add in some new columns. Now, there are two ways of making this happen. Uh, one way is through what's called a site column, where the column is available to other lists that exist in the site and, and the subsites. And the other way is just to say, you know what, this list is the only one that needs the column, so I'm going to make a list column. So in this video, I'll make a new list column. I'll go to the list tab up at the top of the screen. And as you can see, there's a button here that simply says create column. So if you want to hold on to things like Twitter accounts, etc., you probably just want a simple text field there. I'm going to click on Create Column, and you'll see that you can name that column. And then you can decide between that single line of text that I was talking about, and in this case, I would say maybe a hyperlink, right? So I could say twitter.com slash whatever their Twitter account is, facebook.com slash whatever their Facebook is. And so maybe I'll go hyperlink instead of a single line of text. Down here it asks the question, should this be required? I don't think a Twitter handle is a required field. And then lastly, do you want to format that URL so that it shows you a hyperlink or a picture of what's there? So I just want a hyperlink that people can click on. I click OK. And now let's go ahead and add a new contact. I'm going to click on New Item up here at the top of the screen. I'm going to put in my information. And when I get down here to the very bottom, there it is, Twitter handle. So twitter.com slash Neil Malik. That's my Twitter handle. So I click save. And sure enough, I'll have a new Neil Malik record right here with twitter.com slash Neil Malik that I can click on and go check out their Twitter. And that's that creating new columns in the midst of lists that already exist are just one of dozens of different ideas I'll be working on in my Tech 17 session. I'll see you there.